So uh, if any of you guys are recent new grads or pretty much anybody that is holding a credential with the uh, National Board for Respiratory Care or NBRC, you probably started getting emails about an evaluation. You're like, what the heck? I already took my TMC, my CSE, and now I'm doing evaluations. What are these? What's going on? Do I still need CEUs? And that's kind of what this video is going to be about. And it's going to be good for those of you that are getting ready to graduate also. And this video will be followed up with a free CEU list if any of you guys are interested. And I'm looking at my little sheet here just to make sure I've got my details right. So the Credential Maintenance Program, there are three ways to keep your credentials with the NBRC. Uh, the first one is the newest, and we'll get into it a little bit later. I'm just going to give you the list and then we'll kind of backtrack. So option one is taking a quarterly assessment uh, that basically evaluates your knowledge as a registered respiratory therapist, certified respiratory therapist, and CRTs are still um, an option as well. It's for both of the credentials and or documenting 30 continuing education units. The second option is to earn another MBRC credential such as the ACCS, Adult Critical Care Specialist, or the uh, Neonatal and Pediatric Specialist, or the PFT one, or any of the others. That's another way to keep your credential is getting that within that five-year period that you need to renew. Um, and then the third option is passing the same exact credentialing exam. So if you want to retake the TMC, that is an option as long as you pass it to keep that credential updated. Now there are like fees and things like that that go along with the MVRC, but that's a whole nother story that we won't get into right now because it's a sore point for a lot of people. So I will include a link below that gives you the various types of CEUs that the MVRC requires if you decide to do the CEUs instead of the assessments, as well as the different fees that go along with maintaining your credentials. So see that link in the description box below because I know that will be a question that a lot of you guys have. And it's a lot of information, so I've got it all in that description box for you. Back to the first option, what is the CMP or Credential Maintenance Program? So basically what it is, it's a quarterly assessment of 10 questions. So these 10 questions in these quarterly assessments basically determine whether you need to provide proof of your continuing education units to the MBRC to keep your credential or not. Now keep in mind these assessments are optional currently. That's not to say that won't change in the future, but currently you can either take these assessments and if you pass them all, you most likely will not have to uh, provide proof of your continuing education credits. Or if you don't feel like taking the assessments right now, you can just continue to get your 30 CEUs and pass those on to the MBRC. So the next information is going to be for those of you that are interested in taking the assessments and kind of seeing what they're all about. I literally just got done taking my first assessment. When I was looking, getting the emails, I was like, what type of assessment is this going to be? Because, you know, how in depth is it going to be? Is it how many questions? How long is it going to take? Is it going to be really specialized in a specific area? Is it going to be general? Now, again, keep in mind that I'm sure there are tons of different versions of these because I can see a list when I log on to the MBRC of the upcoming assessment dates. Since they are quarterly, it kind of gives you a heads up as to when the next assessment will be open for you to take. But basically, here is a rundown of the information I was able to gather from taking the assessment. So first, there are 10 questions and you are given five minutes per question, which is a pretty long period of time. So if you took, you know, the five minutes per question, which I don't think you'll have to, um, it would be a total of 50 minutes. And if you think about it, when you're doing your CEUs, most CEUs are a minimum of like an hour. So for each question, after the question was given, you would hit submit and then it would ask you your confidence level, high or low on your answer. And then it would ask you how relevant you felt that that question was to the credential itself, high or low. And then after that, you hit submit and it gives you rationale for each answer as to why it is correct or incorrect. So you will immediately know if the answer you got was correct or incorrect. 
There is also a pause between each question, so it's not like it gives you a total timer of 50 minutes. It's literally five minutes per question. So you finish your first question, look at the answers and see, you know, the rationale for the right and wrong answers, and then you hit next, and it will wait for you to hit start to start the five minute timer for the next question. Now for the type of questions, again, I'm sure this varies because they already have so many assessments set up for the upcoming uh, quarters and evaluations or whatever you wanna call them. But the types of questions I was getting were where you would find things in charts, general patient assessment, equipment usage, ABGs, mini, patient scenarios, but I wouldn't say any of them were as in-depth as the uh, clinical simulation exam scenarios, for example. I didn't find it overly difficult overall, but again, that could just be the luck of the draw of getting, you know, a specific set of questions. And then when you do finish at the end overall, you can actually go back in and review all of the questions for your correct and incorrect answers even after you have finished the exam. So if you go back into your CMP section on the MBRC, you'll be able to go back and review your questions, which I think is nice because it lets you kind of get an idea of what you may need to improve on and where you may need to study if that's something that you're interested in. So. Overall, it really wasn't as big of a deal as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I was like, oh man, how difficult are they gonna make this if it's going to um, cover my CEUs? But again, this is only the first assessment I've taken. If any of you guys have taken the assessment yet, for those of you that are already licensed and practicing, let us know down below how your experience with it was, what your thoughts on it are. Are you going to continue to get your continuing education units, which I personally will, and I'll talk about that in the next video I'm doing. Let me know your thoughts, what you think. Are you gonna continue getting your CEUs? How do you think this ties in with your state required CEUs versus your MBRC required CEUs? Because when I go to my state board, the Board of Medical Examiners for Nevada, they are still requiring proof of CEUs for renewal. So I would not suggest personally just going off of these assessments, still get your CEUs, keep doing your continuing education. And then also, if you happen to get uh, too many incorrect answers on these assessments, you will still be required to show your CEUs. So why not just, you know, have a backup plan overall on the off chance that the uh, assessments get progressively more difficult. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Maybe I'll do an update video for you guys in the future once, uh, once more of these assessments have opened because it has just started now at the beginning of the year, January 2020. So again, let me know what you guys think. I will link to the information regarding the new CMP, the MBRC fees and associated uh, requirements for if you hold various types of credentials, because as I mentioned before, um, depending on the credentials you hold, your continuing education credit requirements might be different. If you have your ACCS, you have to have so many continuing education units in adult critical care. If you hold your uh, NPS, so many in neonatal care. If you have your asthma educator, so many in asthma education, etc., etc. But anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, your experience so far with the CMP, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out the next video that will have a list of free CEUs for you guys that I've been checking out. And that's it. All right, see you next time.